Almighty Father, you have said you will repay according to our actions and that we will eat according to what our hands have done. What is it that I'm doing? Without me realizing I'm not a servant and I do things by my strength and so I'm a servant to demons. May we be able to give you glory. You said we can still do well. At this time, may our fate change. May we become a blessed man. As a child of God, may we give profit to others. May we cast away the darkness of Satan. In Jesus' name, we thank you and bless. Amen. May you all receive greater blessings. I can't sleep continuously more than two hours. Are you a dead corpse that you just lie down and sleep? If you read in Romans chapter 8, your flesh is your enemy. 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 11. In our lives as travelers, our flesh is our enemy. But if you do according to what your flesh wants, what is it that you do well? So when I see how you don't do well, as soon as something's not good, you don't want to do it. You seek out something better. What kind of slave seeks out what's good for them? If Jesus, if you say you have faith, you say faith is greatest, you say you have Jesus, if Jesus did that, if he picked and chose what was good for him, he wouldn't have taken on our sins. It's because of our ancestors' sins and my sins that I don't do well. Why is it that Jesus bore them, those filthy things? You say that you believe. You pretend to do forced repentance, but when you look at your actions, you haven't done it at all. So no wonder you can't do well. Pastor Park, am I a uh, roly-poly? When I fall down, I receive grace, I, I ex receive experience. Paul, in those times, he lived in a different culture, a different time. So yes, he was beaten a lot. But these days, you know, you may be cursed, you may be insulted. So what kind of, what kind of sign will you have in your body? So I have this scar of a sword here remaining. When I went to America, forced at repentance, as I was experiencing month by month, that happened, that came in that last month. So what is it that God's saying? He's telling you to do, to get your desires fulfilled. So that's why you've come. But you have to become a slave. You have to meet Jesus. Philippians chapter 2, verse 7. Isn't Jesus a slave? So if you've met Jesus, then you should be a slave. How is it that you have a heart of a thief where you want to receive blessings without washing your dish? It's so pathetic. When I go to the restaurant with the deacons, I don't tidy up the shoes. Why? Because the deacons, they're all fighting to do it. I don't know. Are they just mimicking me? They all try to do it. But when I go by myself, I tidy the shoes, I clean up, I, you know, buy some food. But then afterwards, I go again. You see what happens. God says, you receive according to the work of your hands. Why don't you make your hands work? Proverbs. Proverbs chapter 12, verse 14. Let's read Philippians chapter 2, verse 7. But emptied himself, taking the form of a bondservant, and being made in the likeness of men. So Jesus, who came as a servant, if you don't become a slave, you can't do, verse 8. You say that you love God, you lie so filthily. What is it that God doesn't know? Who is a fake pastor? Who is the fake church goer? Europe? For 2,000 years, since Jesus came, it's been 2,000 years. There are so many churches built from gold, but there's no one there. Why is that? You know, they have these marble statues on the roof, you know, that are taller than us. You know, if you want to make one of those statues, it will cost hundreds of thousands of dollars. So these churches that have been made so well, they're empty. Why? God who gives you help. If there are no workings here, then there's no one who will come. But when I see how God surely helps me, my back, that, it, you know, it wasn't, they said it was, it couldn't be fixed. Diseases that couldn't be fixed are healed. 
So when it's, got, it's not that God wants to give us disease. In all things, He wants to receive glory. So if you have a difficulty, it's so that He can receive glory. So what is this difficulty? What is it that's not working out? What is God saying? Believe. If you believe, it will happen according to your faith. Matthew chapter 8, verse 13. So you say that you believe. What is faith? It's where Christ Jesus is inside of me. 2 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 5. So if Christ doesn't first come in, then Jesus can't come in. It's because Europe didn't know the order that all those churches were ruined. And Korea, more and more evangelism isn't working and the church is decreasing. You know, they say they have this many saints in their church, but when you go there, it's, it's empty. So they're saying, oh, we need a new revival. If you don't have Christ, because there's no happiness in your heart, why? Why would you go to church to suffer? You attend and all you receive are disasters and curses. Why go there? So we're not a church like that. By the mystery of God, Christ, we start by having happiness inside of us. And because we're righteous, all things happen. There are workings according to the word. So you and I, because we want to receive this, that's why we're here. I haven't come looking toward you. You haven't come to look toward me. We've come to fix our destiny. So if we fix our destiny, we have blessings in our late age. We take the blessings in front of us. And because I do well, we pass these blessings to our children. This is God's word. So that's the blessing we've come to receive. So even though the whole world is ruined, God's will, forced at repentance, isn't ruined. 1 John chapter 2, verse 17. So why is that Europe was ruined? Because they didn't have forced at repentance. All those churches without this will be ruined because God says that. It's not because Pastor Park says it. So even, even in your lifetime, you'll see these fake churches becoming empty. Why? Because if your eyes are opened, you don't go there. If you have eyes, you see food that's mixed with dog poo. Who's going to eat that? Even though you can't see it, if you know it, why would you go there? So if you don't know it, it's because you still have evil remaining in your heart. Because you don't repent, it's because you're simple that you go there. In the end, you and your children become crazy. So before you die, because you turn crazy, that's why you have this all this dementia. And why is it that these families have to live in, in this unhappiness? It's because of the sin in my heart. And the and it's because we can't win over the demons that stick to that sin. 1 John chapter 3, verse 8. So where is there a way to solve this? Some people say, oh, the times of Jesus and our times are different. No. The demons, in the name of culture, you know, only the exterior appearances, like how people dress, that's different. But inside, people are the same. You know, we have the same evil. So to change our insides to become a blessed man, some people say, oh, pastor, don't say testimonies. After two, three years, ten years, it's not right. Well, Jesus, did he raise Lazarus up? Then why did why is that testimony in here when he's dead now? It's You know, that doesn't make sense. That testimony, just like things were solved then, it's saying even now our problems are solved. You need to realize properly. We all have to receive this blessing. Is this amen? Philippians chapter 2 verse 7. What did Jesus come as? A slave. Why is this recorded? If you meet Jesus, if you truly have received faith, Christ and Jesus, they're not two, they're one. This summer revival and the, in the New Year's revival, what we've done so far. You know, up till now I've been praying, what is it that I have to give them, God, that they'll become a blessed man? In front of them, the temple, the church is dirty. Their, their eyes are open and yet they're giving worship like that. When have they ever then helped their neighbor? When have they ever given profit to their neighbor? So of course you can't do well. This person standing in front of you, 
as my life, as I as I do four step repentance, because it works, that's why I'm telling you, you want to heal your disease, don't you? You have to heal it. Why? Exodus chapter 15, verse 26, God is a God who heals. So if you want to meet him, you have to do four step repentance and go inside of Christ. You know what the easiest thing to do is? All you have to do is continue to do four step repentance. If you continue to do four step repentance, it's not me, but 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 10, it's he himself who makes me a slave. It's someone who is a slave that is worthy to receive baptism. Matthew chapter 3, verse 16, it's because Jesus received baptism. So if you become a slave, Philippians chapter 2, verse 8, what kind of life do you live? Let's read verse 8. Let's see, am I living like this now? Being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Amen. So see here. What did he do to the point of death? Obey. What about you? How can a slave not have obedience? Then you'll be beaten to death. What does it mean when Jesus came? He came to take on the cross. He obeyed to the point of death. Who did he do this for? For me. So the cross has something to do with me. And yet if you deny the cross and tear it down, if God says to boast of the cross, that's what you need to do. But you don't boast of the cross. And then you say that you've obeyed God's word. You know, how can you make excuses about this? God says to boast about the Lord Jesus Christ and the cross. That means we have to do it. So what relationship do I have to the cross? Well, I have to be on the right side. That robber who confessed. That has to be my place for me to live. That's how you go to paradise. Luke chapter 23, verse 38 to 44. You think that it was written there for fun? You know, the Bible has been reduced and reduced. So if you want to, if you want to receive baptism and to cast out your demons and to give people profit and to plant blessings and you and your children to do well and to be a patriot, you have to receive baptism. But you haven't become a slave. If you've become a slave, if you're that lazy, you'll be beaten to death by your master. Even as I go along the street, Lord, I'm in a hurry. You know, there's something, but I see someone where I should help someone. I can see someone who's lying on the street sleeping. Lord, this life which is more worth than the whole world. He's drunk. But until that he wakes up from his drunkenness, you know, no one can do anything. Like, I can't carry him. Or... So what are you going to do? So I have something urgent to do. God, a life is more important. What is it that I should do? And I keep asking. Then all of these Bible verses keep coming up. So by the Bible verses, that's how I'm guided. That's what that's how, that's what I do. So I'll say there may be someone next to him, and I'll say, when this person wakes, can you please give him some noodles? And I'll leave ten dollars. Whatever God tells me to do, or I just go according to what I've been told to do. So when have I ever become a slave? Does a slave harm others or give others help? 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 24. You have to give profit to others. Let's find 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 24. So that's what happens when you're a slave. You you obey to the point of death. So even if you can't even have money problems solved, then you're doing something else. You're not a slave. And then you're asked, do you believe? And you're like, amen, I believe. You know, our church, because we do forced state repentance, if you do forced state rep repentance, 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 20, you say amen. Those people who don't do forced state repentance who are demons, they can't say amen. They say that they're a scholar, they have a doctorate, they've got some money. Those demons who kill themselves and eat up their children and bring curses upon the country, if you bring them here, they can't say amen. Those demons, if they come here, they can't stand it because they're demons, they're all playing up. And you to tell them to come again, they won't. They go to where they will receive disasters and curses. These fake sermons, this food that you can't eat that's filled with poo without forced their repentance. So they don't do well, their children don't do well, their spouse relationship is bad. When their children get married, it's all bad. No matter what the parents do, no matter how much God gives to us, if I don't do it, it's useless. No matter how much the parents 
um, prepare something. If the children don't do it, it's useless. So Jeremiah chapter 11, verse 10, if you betray, no matter how good God's promises of God are, they have nothing to do with me. So let's read together. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 24, let no one seek his own good, but that of his neighbor. Amen. So God's commandment is to give profit to others. So when? When does this happen? It's when you're a slave. By four-step repentance, when you go inside of Christ and meet Jesus and you become a slave, when you have faith, my actions, that's a double-minded fake person. You know, someone who pretends to clean when they're next to Pastor Park, 100% that's a fake. Even if you're by yourself, you do it because it's God who has who has given you that heart. But as soon as you get a little bit upset, instead of focusing on God, you're focused on your, your standards. So if you don't repent, you misunderstand. What is the mystery of God? It's to have a lot of understanding. Colossians chapter 2, verse 2. Why do you have un understanding? Because if you do forced out repent repentance, no matter what you do, there is no disadvantage to me. Romans chapter 8, verse 28. Oh, what's that person doing? Oh, are they harming me? No, there's no one who can harm me it's you that has misunderstood if you don't do false step repentance the mystery of god that's what happens someone who misunderstands has no love colossians chapter 2 verse 2 so it's by yourself that you get saddened you have demons you don't do well your children don't do well even though you're not doing well you, you still misunderstand so you haven't done false step repentance you're outside of christ so a slave that doesn't give profit to others isn't a slave so you have to become a slave let's find Matthew chapter 3 verse 16 that's when you can receive baptism like Jesus if you receive baptism then your demons are cast out without receiving baptism your demons cannot depart so Jesus showed us an example so how can I do well so if you're not a slave the smallest thing, you get upset. The small, you know, you say, is it just me that has to clean the toilets? If you're told to give profit to others, you end up giving them hurts. So, Pastor, why do you pierce others? If you want to say correct words, you have to become like Jesus. Do you know how hard it is to say correct words? But if, if you don't say correct words, that is pride. 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 3. So who is it that can say correct words? Only Jesus. Who is Jesus? He is a slave and he is love. So someone who truly has love is a slave. You have to become a slave so that you cannot stand seeing your master being ruined and you pierce them with correct words. You see people who can't say correct words. They're all evil. They don't do well. Their children don't do well. My wife, do you know how much she says correct words to me? She says even your family are womanizers. In the world, this is something that, you know, you'd be up in arms about. But when I hear that, it's sweeter than honey. The days that I don't hear rebuke, I find it strange. So I repent even more by myself. What I heard yesterday, the rebukes that I still can't forget, looking at other people's wrongs and repenting as mine. And then later, my heart becomes at peace. If your heart's not at peace and it's beating too fast and you're, and you're fearful and you have anxiety, then you're evil. Evil. you haven't received baptism if you say you're a slave but you're not baptized 100 percent sorry if you say you've been baptized but you're not a slave 100 percent that's a lie you see these fake churches they all like they act like they're better and then they say that they've been baptized that's like the europe church that's ruined you know korea that's been you know it's been a hundred years and they're saying already the church is decreasing let's say Let's say there's a million saints. Let's say there's a million saints with faith. Then Korea will become light. That we wouldn't need street cleaners. If you help a million people every day, why would you need a social welfare system when everyone's helping each other? So who is it that receives baptism? Jesus who was a slave. So you've come to receive baptism, to cast out your demons, to have your diseases healed, 
to have your desires fulfilled and for your children to do well. We have to receive this. It's not theory. Is this our man? It's not theory. If you say eating is a theory, you'll die. You have to actually eat. But if that food is dirty, you'll eat it and die. So, Matthew chapter 3, verse 16, let's read it. After being baptized, Jesus came up immediately from the water, and behold, the heavens were opened, and he saw the Spirit of God descending as a dove and lighting on him. Amen. So it says you have to receive the Holy Spirit. Some people say, Oh, I received it, the Holy Spirit. Don't lie. By four step repentance in Christ. So being in Christ is four step repentance. Acts chapter 2, verse 38. It says, If you're forgiven of your sins, that you'll receive the Holy Spirit. That's why you have to do four step repentance. Ephesians chapter 1, verse 13. If you do four step repentance, you're given the Holy Spirit. If you do four step repentance, You, Jesus comes, so you become a slave. It's Jesus who received baptism. He showed us an example. So, because Jesus came as a slave, we have to become slaves to be baptized. So, if you're baptized, what happens? The Holy Spirit comes upon us. Let's find Matthew chapter 12, verse 28. Then the demons depart. When demons depart, Luke chapter 4, verse 35, they depart with disease. They depart with the disasters and curses. Why am I like this? Why don't I have joy? Some people say, Oh, I'm afraid of my mother in law. I'm afraid of my daughter in law. That person has demons. If you do four step repentance, Proverbs chapter 28, verse 1, you become bold as a lion. So, what are you afraid of? Why am I not doing well? It's because you still have things that you're afraid of. And you say, Oh, I'm not, why am I not doing well when I'm doing four step repentance? If you do four step repentance, then God gives you all joy. Romans chapter 15, verse 13. But you can't even smile. Your face is gray. How, when have you done four step repentance? Oh, because I'm afraid of my husband. I'm afraid of my eldest child. I'm afraid of my. My daughter in law or my mother in law. You're, that's dog talk. The righteous are bold as a lion. What are you afraid of? So you're lying. You haven't done four step repentance. You haven't gone inside of Christ and become a slave. You know, there are these crazy people who say you need to have a country for t- there to be a me. You know, they say this dog talk. You, what, you think because there were no people that Soviet Union was ruined? It's because there were people who denied God that they were ruined. Even though un- other countries are ruined, the reason why they were ruined even faster is because they denied God. So if you want this country to do well, Proverbs chapter 14, verse 34, you have to become righteous. So who, were, who is the righteous? Starting from me to be happy, starting from me to be a man, starting from me to be a slave. If we have people like this, you know, we talk about, we talk about, you know, how it's difficult for business or, or they say, oh, these days Korea's been advertised a lot because of soccer. You think a restaurant does well because of advertisements? You, the food has to be good for customers to come. The food has. It shouldn't harm others. You know what you know what Korea is renowned for? That all the presidents were corrupt. You think it's because you know you don't you're not advertised that that you can't sell the sell the products? So you have to have the demons part. If we live faithfully, then Korea does well. There's no way but four step repentance. So may we and our children receive this. Our country has to do well. Is this our meant? So this is the work we've come to do. It's such a great work. It's greater work than a royal secret agent. So 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 20, we've become ambassadors of Christ. Matthew chapter 12, verse 28, what is it that we cast out demons with? Let's read it. But if I cast out demons by the Spirit of God, then the kingdom of God has come upon you.
Amen. So in the world, whatever religion cannot receive the Holy Spirit. Just because you attend church, that's not how you receive the Holy Spirit. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 13. As you do forced at repentance. If you continue to do forced at repentance, you receive the gift of faith. If you receive the gift of faith, you become a slave. And as you become a slave, if you continue to do forced at repentance, that's when you receive the Holy Spirit. If you receive the Holy Spirit, the demons inside of my heart, what I've learnt with my head as a, as a beast, a dog pig, what I've learnt with my head, everything that's of the head. So, being double-minded, pretending pretending that you're something that you're not. If you cast out those demons by the Holy Spirit, then you change to love. If you change to love, then your spirit lives. If your spirit lives and it rules over your head so that what you've learned in the world is used for good. A knife, it's not a robber's knife, but it's used in the kitchen. There's nothing but this. I always say, someone who wants to be a pastor, come out. Jeremiah, chapter 3, verse 15. If, you, if you've done according to the word, if you want to be an elder, come out. But it's not pastors and elders who go to heaven. But as we work, who can who who is it that can stand in front? Well, you're like an elder, so you should be an elder. If you're like a pastor, you should be a pastor. But if you don't repent, then you're a fake. If you can't give profit to others, you're a fake. A slave is is nitpicking about what's good for them. If Jesus, he nitpicked about that, would he bear our sins? We don't even want to take on our own sins. We don't even want to take on our spouse or our children's sins, and that's why we're fighting with our spouse. Whose sins didn't Jesus take up? That's a slave, and he did it to the point of death. So this is the person who is worthy of baptism. This is the person whose demons depart. What is the Holy Spirit? Galatians chapter 5, verse 22, that's when you have love. So to not do this, and then you say, why am I not doing well? Now we will do well. Let's say, it. I am a slave. Let's say to the person next to us. So we have to ask forgiveness that we haven't helped them as a slave. Let's say, please forgive me for not being a slave. Please forgive me for not, for not doing the work of a slave. So some people say, what? Why should I be a slave to my children? Why should I be a slave to my wife? No. If you want to fix your destiny, you have to do this. Your, if you want your problem solved, you have to do this. If you come out from a bank, you come out from some good position, you come into society, you know, even if you start to run a restaurant, soon you're ruined. Why? Because you're like, do you know who I am? You know, I, I've, I've got this title. So they use this title as an excuse and they're sitting in that restaurant. Who's going to come? These people who come to eat a, a bowl of food. You know, if you can't... So yes, people like to go out and dine, but do you really like to go out and dine? Because I do four-step repentance and I'm happy, even if I'm inside my room for years, there's no reason for me to go out. If someone wants to host me, I go there to bless that person. But where I am now is the best. Where would I go off to? Our ancestors, when they found, they worked themselves to the bone where they couldn't even straighten up their backs. You see these old people with bent backs, it's because they worked a lot. You say it's because you work a lot that you have stress. These days, everything's done by computer. All the, all the machines do do these things you know no one's out in the fields so why would you have stress it's because your heart is dirty because you haven't washed the sins of your heart you say oh if i if i play from saturday then my stress is relieved you see these idiots it's so pathetic even if you played your whole life you see if that stress is revealed, uh, relieved. It doesn't say in the Bible it's because you work that you have stress. If anything, it says 2 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 10, if you don't work, then you should need God's word. You have to first start by casting out your demons. So you have to first receive baptism. That's Matthew chapter 3. Matthew chapter 1, verse 1, you have to find your genealogy to meet, to go inside of Christ and meet Jesus and to become a slave. Then Matthew chapter 2, then you obey whenever. Even if you're a pregnant woman, you obey. Matthew chapter 3, that's when you receive baptism. You have to receive baptism for the demons to depart. You have, the demons have to depart to become a man. That's when you're problems are solved. That's when your desires are fulfilled. We all have to receive this. Is this Amen?
So even now, if something's not doing well, quickly become a slave by four-step repentance. After becoming a slave, if you quickly receive baptism, then I die. Let's find Colossians chapter 2, verse 12. This is baptism. So I'm receiving grace as I share this word. Even by myself I receive grace. And coming here together and sharpening each other, I receive grace. So I've come to receive grace. You know, I said, God, is it okay to wear these clothes? And I was going to sit in the back. But if the pastor sits at the back, then I'll be rebuked by my wife. So, you know, as an example, I came to the front. I was going to write some notes and I was ready. But then God told me to come up. You know, for you to receive grace just by yourself. You know, they haven't, they haven't even cleaned the church. If I have demons inside of me, how can you expect the demons of your spouse to be, to be cast out? If you have the Holy Spirit, then light has come, whether it be your spouse, your children, your parents. You have to cast away their darkness. You have to cast away that darkness around you. 1 John chapter 5, verse 19. Let's read together. Colossians chapter 2, verse 12. Having been buried with him in baptism, in which you were also raised up with him through faith in the working of God, who raised him from the dead. Amen. So by Christ, you have to be buried. You have to die. So if you do four-step repentance properly, you're buried, you die. It's not me that does it, but God gives you grace. So you feel nothing. So what happens in your life? Well, this is what happens, verse 20. Let's read it. If you have died with Christ to the elementary principles of the world, why, as if you were living in the world, do you submit yourself to decrees such as, Amen. If you've done four-step repentance, if you've been baptized, if you've become a slave, if you've been a slave, then you obey to the point of death. That's not me. He makes me do that. Then you come to church. Then do you take the blessings in front of you? Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 15, you're not able to take them, but you should be busy taking the blessings in front of you. You can't even take your own blessings. And you look at others going, oh, look at that person. They're fighting over this. What, if you can't even take what's yours, why are you talking about other people's? That's what the fake church, they're always, they're, the, they have their church offices meeting, but that's what they're doing. Instead of taking the blessings in front of me. So it's Almighty God who gives the blessings in front of me. Has he given us a million or 10 million? He's given us unlimitedly. As long as I become a blessed man, I can take them. May we all receive this. This is not being tied to the worldly learning. So verse 20 says, this elementary princes of the world to not be tied to that. But you go to a fake church, they all say, oh, I have this doctorate. Oh, I have that doctorate. I'm not saying don't do that. But that is the level of demons. It's elementary. It's for evangelism. So to not have those things at our church, that's, that's doing according to the... That's according to the word. You look at Europe, who had all those things and how it's all ruined. Why is it that you're suffering? Why is it that your family doesn't have happiness? Why is it that your children aren't being released? Why is it that my neighbors aren't doing well? Why is this country more and more? The people in high places, they all end up being robbers. And these government officials, um, these tycoons, they all have to run away overseas and all their wealth just disappears. Why is this? Because they haven't received baptism. They're dragged around by demons. But from now, we will do well. Now we will all do well. If we do according to this word, we will do well. At this time, may we receive help. Amen. So let's say to the person next to us, now we will do well. Now we will do well. All those who are all over the world, we will do well. But why? Why haven't we done well? Because we're not a slave. We haven't received baptism. But now we will do well. Let's all pray. Truly, good Father, because I haven't become a slave, God's commandment is to give profit to our Master. He's told us to live to give profit to others. Any, every person has to do this. But I can't even do it for myself. 
And yet, I ex if you're not even a slave, how can you receive baptism? If you're not a slave, how can you have received baptism? And that's why the demons don't depart. If anything, eight demons come inside. Do I still not have peace in my heart? Do I not have joy and I'm filled with worries and fear? That's why you're a slave to demons. Even though Job was righteous, because of his worries and anxieties, he was ruined. Accordingly, do you want to eat up your ten children? Do you want to get, do you want all that wealth to disappear? Please help us to realize. Rather than Job, where he, that happened to him and then he realized, May we realize and receive our blessings to be patriots, to pass blessings to our children. Let's call upon the Lord three times and have our desires fulfilled. Lord, Lord, Lord.